Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, welcome to the God Solar 7, <coughs> excuse me, and 10 Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy I received on, let's see, um, November 17th, 2024. Um, so before I get started on the prophecy, um, just take a moment right now, if you would, and uh, make sure you sub subscribe to the channel <coughs> and hit the notification button so you know what's going on and what's coming up. Okay, <coughs> thank you. And welcome all my new friends and subscribers out there. We love you guys. Thank you. Um, so let's do the um, start with the uh, prayer of Jabez today. It looks like it's going to snow and we're supposed to get snow. How about that? The sky's all white. Uh, prayer of Jabez. Now I rearranged this for me. So it's not exactly how it is in the scriptures. <clears throat> Probably in about maybe 2007 I did this. Um, God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone harm or pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so again, I got this on uh, November uh, 17th, 2024. So I'm going to do the scripture. Let me just get situated here a little better. Uh, join me in the King James Version Bible. Wow, is this beat up. Um, I'm in the book of James. Okay, we're starting at verse 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl, for your miseries shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped up treasure together for the last days. All right, let's see, that's as far as I'm going. All right, that's as far as I'm gonna go, but you might wanna read the rest of it. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> now, see my phone again because it's in, um, I had, it was too long, so I had to uh, put it in two pieces in here. Uh, November uh, 17th, 2024. Daughter, speak. Disaster is coming to the nations on earth. The day of vengeance is at hand. The day of the Lord. A dark, gloomy day. I will step through the clouds and every eye will see me. Wow. I will give immediate understanding and all will know who I am. My children will be safe with me as fire rains down on the earth. Wow, wow, wow. Holy Spirit. My cup of wrath is full. If you are not with me, you are against me. And we'll see these horrific sights. They are written by John in Patmos. My prophets and messengers have shouted from the rooftops at my instruction. The mockers and scoffers will reap what they, let's go to the next part, will reap what they have sown. The wicked and evildoers and unrepentant will be left behind. Disaster is coming and is upon you now. These are the last days for earth. Wow, wow, wow. Praise God. Let us be accounted worthy to escape the wrath to come. Please hear us. We need you. All right, wow, 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 wow. I could fly right out the window here. Okay, so repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you can read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. Let's look at this again. This is hair raising. I mean, everything that could go wrong, and normally this is what happens when I get a humdinger like this, everything that could go wrong goes wrong. <clears throat> Let's look at this again. Start at the beginning part. Now back in, I think it was 2022, uh, the Lord had me um, to be announcing the date of vengeance is at hand. Now normally I can't remember what I'm doing on these videos because of the stroke. So now he said it straight up in this prophecy. Disaster is coming to the nations on earth. The day of vengeance is at hand. 
the day of the Lord. Now, I kept on hearing this part, a dark, gloomy day. I will step through the clouds, and every eye will see me. All right. And this part is cool. I will give immediate understanding, and all will know who I am. So if you are left behind, he already says his children will be with him. If you are left behind, you will see him and know it's him. And listen, da, 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 da. Then you will see the horrific sights written by John and Patmos. So what he's basically telling you is you need to get your Bible out and read the book of Revelation. This lists every single disaster that's coming. So what disaster is coming next? That's what we need to figure out here. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so this is basically for the left behind, the evildoers and unrepentant. If you don't want to be with this crew left behind, you'd better get yourself straightened out with the Lord right now. All right, let's see. They will be left behind. D disaster is coming and is upon you now. These are the last days for earth. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, talk about a humdinger hair raiser. Just think about that. Let that sink in a little bit. Maybe uh, listen to this again. Now, um, I normally say this, and again, I get the mockers and scoffers like it says in there, to have an emergency plan. You see the weather, what's going down now. Now, if you were on here uh, a little while, uh, Sister Amber and I, uh, we, I asked her, I said, do you have any, like, vibes on the winter? And, of course, I usually have my little antenna up on what's going on. I said, blizzards and ice storms, and she basically agreed and confirmed that. So here's me looking at the headline news. What do I see? Blizzards and ice storms. Yes, it's coming. Make sure you're prepared. I think they just had the big blast in Washington, maybe, of, of cold air and everything. The Lord is not fooling around. He's going to wake everybody up. Everybody that's sleeping and they don't believe in him, da 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 he's going to hammer everything. If it's not burning, you see what he's doing. It's going to be snow, ice. I already had this before. Snow, um, ice, blizzards, uh, the nor'easters, you name it, we're going to get pounded with it. He wants you awake. He's coming back. He doesn't want you left behind. I can't put this any clearer or any plainer than he does. I'm getting myself riled up here. All right, let's see. Da, da. He will step to the clouds and every eye will see him. Da, 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 da. Let's see what else. My prophets and messengers have been shouting from the rooftops. Now, uh, uh, based on what, what I gathered, uh, Brother Dan and I were, were called as messengers. So we have a message. That's why we're on here. We've been on here, I think, what, um, 13 years now. Uh, basically with the same message to repent and be baptized and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You must be born again to enter the kingdom. Make sure you know your Bible. Don't get caught up with uh, uh, some of these nonsensical, uh, these, um, uh, I want to say TV people that don't even preach the Bible. I don't even know if they ever read the Bible because I sat here the one day, well not here, at the other house. I think I mentioned this on another video. I don't know if I was painting or I think it was painting. So when I'm painting or cleaning, what I would normally do, if it was the morning, I think it was painting on the top of the ladder, and I put on the um, the uh, channel that had all of those, like Creflo Dollar and all those people on there, and I listened to them. It might have been Creflo Dollar. I can't think of the other one, but I know he has like a massive following out there. Uh, Joel Osteen, I listened to him. I just wanted to hear what they were saying, and nobody was preaching. I want to say repentance or hell. And if, you, if you're in a church that's not doing that, I said this before, get up and leave and run away. You must know the whole Bible, and you have to preach the whole Bible. Repentance, and there is a hell, and there is a heaven. You must know the whole story yourself. I get myself worked up with this. Now, let me see. All right, let's see. The mockers and scoffers, I have this an actual prophecy on this, will reap what they have sown. Basically, he says, when you, when you mock or, or, or your scoffer or mocker at one of his people that are speaking, it's like mocking and scoffing at him. Not good. All right. Disaster is coming and is upon you now. Now, that made my hair stand up. So it made me think this. What is going on, of course, that we are not told and we don't know about? If it's upon us now, 
They haven't told us what's coming down. They know what it is. I'm saying they as I want to say, how can I put this without getting uh, bleeped off? Um, I want to say, how about the authorities? Let's put it that way. The authorities know, the same people that put us in the house, you know, um, they know what's coming. And I'm sure they already have their little bunkers and plans already made to get away from whatever they know is coming. But they're not going to tell us. This is why you need to continue to pray. And don't give up. Trust the Lord. No, it's not a disaster is coming and is upon you now. They know what's coming and they're not telling us. Have a plan. Have some extra food and clothes on hand. I want to say like cold weather clothes. I'm saying this because that's the vibe I got. I got ice storms, I got blizzards, have some extra clothes, have some extra food on hand, uh, have a plan uh, of action for your family. How about I say that? If you get separated, have a plan of where, how you're going to meet up. And uh, Now, we, what we did several years ago when I started doing the prepper and survival stuff, we got um, walkie-talkies that have, um, I, I forget how long of a range it is, I want to say maybe a mile or two miles range uh, with walkie-talkies. I think we have one in the car. Um, uh, uh, Amber and Jasmine have one. Um, I have one here at the condo. So we could keep in touch if all the power goes out. We could hear each other and know what's going on. We had, that was our backup plan. The other backup plan, and uh, uh, Brother Dan made a joke about it, pretty much. I got a landline. I don't trust all these satellites and cell phones and all this, all, all that kind of technology stuff. I got a basic land line. So Brother Dan was like, hmm, when Sister Barbara's getting a land line, you know something's coming and something's up. Now I did that, I want to say about two years ago. That was one of my preps. So I have landline phones, those old fashioned ones, um, in all of the um, rooms here this way, because there's actually receptacles in all the rooms for phone uh, that were here when I came. You have to have a plan and you have to be a thinker. Have common sense. Like I said, have an alternate route out of town. I mean, you don't know what, well, I do know what he said. He said, first of all, he said he was going to burn the cities one by one. Now you saw the East Coast and the West Coast were both on fire at the same time. Now the West Coast is getting hammered with this uh, blizzard or ice storm or whatever it is. They're getting hammered right now. Um, how many thousands of people, maybe a hundred thousand people have no power? So if you see something like that coming, then this is what I did when we lived across the river. Um, I usually would get things that you didn't have to heat or cook to eat. Quick things. Think. Use your brain. Have a plan. I'm telling you this for your own good. I, I remember when um, Texas, was that last year? Texas had the, the freezing, freezing weather. And I, I was prepping and telling everybody, make sure you have a plan. And I got messages from Texas people saying, we listened to you and we did it and we were able to survive the freezing cold weather for how many days they had no power. You need to do this. Your family needs to be a team. How about I say that? A team. You're not going to make it solo. You need to be, have a team and some friends. A team and some friends. How's that? Uh, godly friends. I'll add that in too. Okay, I don't want to ramble here. Let's see if there's anything else I need to say here. Um, prayers. Yes, I remembered my, my note. All right, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so excuse me if I do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, allergies. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, for prayers. Um, we see um, Tim and Tim's Graham, uh, Patty, Patricia, uh, Karen, um, our friend Jean, uh, Melissa, let's see, Carol, Claire, and a new friend, uh, Trissy. I, I thought it was Chrissy, but I think it's Trissy with a T. Carol, Claire, uh, of course, uh, Brother Dan. Um, he's still waiting to get a date for surgery. And my son Joseph, he's still in rehab. He's probably not coming home until next week. So please keep him in your prayers, too. Did I miss anything? I'm thanking everyone once again uh, for the translations under the videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, thank you everyone uh, that supports the ministry financially so we can help others. Um, thank you everyone that sends me things in the mail, cards, gifts, uh, little notes, uh, beautiful cards I get. Uh, uh, and thank you everyone that sent a card and a note on my mom passing away on October 24th. Very difficult. I'm the only child. So it was really hard for me to go through that. <clears throat> 
Okay, now as far as the um, financial support of the ministry, we just want to run this by you. Now you guys know I help the prisoners. They are so grateful. They are so thankful. Um, they usually send me a little note in the mail. They started doing that and thanking me for helping them, which is not actually thanking me. It's thanking you because I would not be able to help them without your support. So if you can help with the prisoners, I would really appreciate that. Um, because right now, it's coming winter here, and those people that are at the, uh, the state corrections up there in Dallas, um, I know that it's very cold. They need clothes for in there, like uh, sweaters or I don't, I forget what my son said, little hats and like little caps, knitted caps. And I sent uh, the one guy, uh, there, it was called Secure Pack. It was like a box of food. He was so happy that the when the other guy sent me the, the uh, <laughs> sent me the letter thanking me for sending him funds for the commissary food. He said he goes like I, you know I could just see him doing this. And he's the oldest guy there. He's been in in prison I think for 40 years now. I don't think he ever got one of those food boxes. So he said you could send me one if you if if you're able. And I want to do that because you know what you never know how much time you have. So help who you can while you're still here. How about I put it that way? Help. Because you never know, it could be you at some point that's needing the help and, and somebody will, will reach out and do that for you. That's how I look at it. All right, I better get going here. I think I covered everything. And again, you could, I did a prayer request, but you could leave a prayer request anywhere under the um, prophecy uh, video, anywhere under the message. Right, let me get going here because I, I know I'm going to have an issue. I always do. All right, so God bless you all. Uh, stay warm again. My antenna is up for the um, blizzards. Um, let's see, ice storms, blizzards, uh, bad weather. And we're supposed to get the snow, I think, tomorrow. I, mean, I love snow, but not ice storms and blizzards. I already went through how many blizzards. I think I was uh, here for four blizzards already. So God bless you. Be safe. We love you guys. And thank you for everything. You're our family. God bless you.